Hi, so welcome to week two of our Edexcel History GCC revision. Um, I'm going to carry on looking at the American West today. So again, following on from last week, these are the three main questions. So explain two consequences, the narrative account question, which we'll look at later, and the importance of. So these are the three questions coming up in the exam. So, whoa, there's loads here. There's basically five questions. And I'm just going to go through them briefly. So first of all, we're going to focus on the importance question and then into the consequences question. So first of all, the importance of the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1851. Now, basically what this was about was about, it was the first time that territories were set up for Indians. And eventually the reason why that was important was because they became the uh, reservations it also allowed white settlers onto Indian Territory and this led to a flood of pioneers crossing over the American continent to go to the west coast from the, from the east. It also allowed railway surveyors and the US Army to build fo forts on Indian Territory and inevitably this led to conflict and tension over the years. Now why did the Indians do this, uh, make these agreements, was because they received substantial rewards for both uh, money words, uh, money wise, and also resources from the U.S. government, the long-term impact of that it almost became like a parent-child relationship, and the Indians became dependent on the U.S. government. So, in some ways, it's quite a complex question. In some ways, quite easy, but I'd quite like a question around that if you can remember that kind of detail. So, the second question is the Homestead Act. I feel like we've done this one to death, but basically. Why was it important? Well, primarily because it provided a huge amount of land, 6 million acres of land. So one of the biggest uh, land grabs in history. So in a very short space of time, over 6 million acres were settled. I think also important was it encouraged Europeans from Ireland, UK, Germany, Scandinavia in particular, to move over and want to emigrate into you know, the great United States. Thirdly, it led to greater demand from homesteaders for uh, resources that they needed, particularly timber. So this encouraged the clamour for the building of the railroad. And in the more longer to medium term, what happened was after five years, if the homesteaders did not prove up their land by paying $10, for whatever reason, the land was too poor or it wasn't a success, this land was often snapped up by rich landowners. So in the, in the long, medium to long term, basically the rich landowners got richer um, and that led to a sort of increasing social divide. So the third question on the importance is the Pacific Railroad Act. Uh, again, the six things here. I think for the government, it provided additional security. If there were any Indian uprisings, it enabled them to transport troops across st uh, states or territories. It massively improved communication because at the same time of building a railroad, they had the fantastic idea of laying a telegraph wire and it was the first time they could communicate co communicate coast to coast. It also enabled them to develop a postal system. Manifest destiny. It was almost they were fulfilling this manifest destiny that it was their, their role to settle the West. It made it easy to migrate. Um, obviously, law and order in the West was quite poor, but sometimes the railroad enabled them to um, ship Pinkerton detectives or federal officers to settlements are having particularly poor issues with law and order. Hugely encouraged settlement. You know, you could get go to the station in New York, jump on a train, and the same day or the next day be in the Midwest, um, you know, starting a new life. And also you could bring all your resources with you that you needed, particularly timber. For the US economy as a whole, because it connected coast to coast, it developed trade for the US economy with Asian countries and you know hugely developed the port of San Francisco. So on to the second section about consequences. Um, so these are shorter questions, four mark questions. So you may have a question like this about the Indian Appropriation Act of 1851. Now really in simple terms this was about the US government offering the Indians money and in return the Indians would move on to reservations. Now there's four main consequences of that. Firstly, it kept whites and Indians separate. So it's a bit like having a boys' school and a girls' school. Um, you know, they just didn't have contact with each, with each other. And, you know, over time, 
you know they became uncomfortable around each other weren't weren't too sure how to communicate so it, it, in the end aroused suspicion secondly it allowed whites to cross the already established permanent indian frontier and inevitably that led to conflict and tension between the two groups um number three christian missionaries um, went to reservations to try and convert people to Christianity and some people went in then to teach them how to farm and in the longer term whites basically controlled you know where Indians went and what they did because they were on the reservation so the last question but a slightly bigger question is about the gold rush okay so this huge amount here so firstly California is now the most populous state in America and that was really the catalyst for this was a gold rush. Over 300,000 people moved there in a few years, obviously to make their fame and fortune. This led to California becoming a massive uh, farming area of America, particularly in citrus fruit, because after they failed or didn't make, make it successful in the gold rush, they obviously had to do something else rather than going back as a failure. Number three was Manifest Destiny. So... This was a fulfillment of their manifest destiny and again there was a reassurance that um, the american continent was going to be settled number four unfortunately for the indians who were living in california you know they were in the way so they would have been killed and this led to a huge genocide of the indians number five not only were individuals getting wealthy but also it gave a huge uh, financial in injection into the u.s economy the sixth one is about racial tension and obviously people from around the world china mexico um, all different countries around the world came to California to make their fame and fortune and because you know ch groups of Chinese worked together or the Mexicans worked together generally they were quite successful and this created resentment amongst smaller groups of whites who were working in smaller teams and murders and deaths were quite common which brings me nicely on to number seven so a lot of these new mining settlements settlements were brand new you know no no law and order as such no sheriffs and that type of thing so as the picture shows uh, uh law and order was off, often set by vigilante groups so the guy poor guy there in a few minutes is going to be probably lynched and killed so there's no judge jury anything like that and you know that's that's what happened so that's the end of week two we'll carry on with the american west next week thanks a lot bye